Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. <laughs> Today we're going to go over a, uh, a very interesting unique item known as Goer's Devastating Grips. Goer's Devastating Grips um, are subject to a lot of... Uh, well, I've, there was a lot going on with this particular item. Um, they were getting exploited. The exploit is gone now, and we're going to cover that as well, but... Um, we're also going to cover what that exploit was as well, you know, just for the history of the item. And who knows, it may change in the future, they may modify it even further, but for the time being, it is what it is now in patch 1.04. So, Goer's Devastating Grips is a pair of gloves that you can find in World Tier 3 and World Tier 4, um, and they provide uh, uh, some pretty interesting bonuses. Um, you can find them in Sacred and Ancestral versions. And on top of that, you can upgrade them five times, which is obviously going to give you more power out of them. Um, this one in particular is currently 9.6% attack speed, which does vary from 6.6 .6 to 15%. A pretty decent amount of attack speed bonus. 15.3% uh, lucky hit chance, which does vary from 8.1% to 16.5%, which is a pretty decent amount of lucky hit chance as well. 30% uh, non-physical damage, which varies from 21 to 31.5. Now, non-physical damage is obviously going to be things like lightning, fire, ice, you know, like shadow damage, uh, and poison cold, I'd already said that, but uh, in general, not physical, which is really what the Barbarian is all about, is physical damage, and um, you'll see why it has non-physical damage on it later. It also offers plus three ranks of Whirlwind, which does vary from two to three, and if you find a plus three and you upgrade it, you will end up with plus four ranks of Whirlwind, which is not bad. Now, the main effect on this particular pair of gloves is Whirlwind explodes after it ends. Dealing 23%, which does vary from 16 to 26%, of the total base damage dealt to surrounding enemies as fire damage. Rather interesting. The flavor text is, The brutish construction of these gloves belies the strength they bestow. Goer was clearly no craftsman, but it would be foolish to ignore the triumph of his work. Barrett's Book of Implements. So what exactly does Goer's Devastating Grips do, and why was it nerfed? Well, basically, how the ability works is as you are whirlwinding, every single time you hit, you start to add into a bucket. Like, literally taking a cup and pouring liquid into the cup, so every single time you hit, you pour in 26% damage. When you stop attacking, you take that cup and you throw it at the monster, and you get lots of damage. Because you get an explosion that does all of the damage of all of the hits that you have precededly done. Um, and it's a lot of damage. Um, the problem with the previous version was that you could basically continually stack the number to infinity and beyond. Um, now, it's not exactly clear why this was so great though because let's put it this way as you attack and fill this bucket you're not dishing out any other special damage in the meantime um and i'm not sure if i can make myself more clear here so the fire damage the whirlwind explodes after it ends doesn't do anything until the whirlwind ends which means that the entire time that you're whirlwinding if you're if you're using your whirlwind ability you are not getting any additional damage until you actually finish the whirlwind and stop now this makes for some very odd interactions because what you can do is you can just simply tap the button over and over again for very small damage bonuses so if i were to build up some fury here real quick What you can do is you can tap, explode, tap, explode. Um, and when you tap explode like this, it's very kind of odd because you're not really doing a lot of damage. So it's important to note that the damage you're doing when you tap, explode, tap, explode, tap, explode is not really like a massive amount. You're going tap, explode, tap, explode, tap, explode, tap, explode, tap, explode. As you can see, it doesn't really do a whole lot. Um... And using this method, you're not really going to get an amazing amount of damage out of them. Um, before, what people were doing was they were basically maintaining their whirlwind for extremely long periods of time. And it was allowing the damage to build up to such an extreme that by the time they finished, 
the explosion would be massive, dishing out massive amounts of damage because, of course, you're adding in tons and tons of damage to this veritable bucket, which then explodes outward. Now, what did they do to nerf the ability, and and what, what is it now? So I have uh, I actually have the nerf here of the Goer's Devastating Grip, so I can give you an idea. So before they were 50 to 70 percent. Um, Instead, uh, now they are 16 to 26 percent. Um, so they nerfed it quite heavily in the actual damage that you gain per hit. Um, they also removed the ability to damage wreckable objects to increase the explosion damage. So every single like destroyable object throughout the world was apparently adding to the damage as well, um, which kind of made them ridiculous because you could just roll through a bunch of trash and then go into a group of monsters and then explode in the middle of the group of monsters with all of the trash damage. Um, another thing was that they would scale infinitely, so they've been capped at 100 hits. So the most damage that you can get out of these is 100 hits of 26% damage, which you can basically just take two zeros and add it onto the end of that. So you are looking at a total of, what is that, 2,600% damage if you have all 100 hits stacked into your bucket. Now, it's not that difficult to get 100 hits with Whirlwind, especially when you're Whirlwinding through a very large group of monsters. So, you know, when you do find, like, a massive group of, like, 30 or 40 monsters, um, especially in dungeons and things like that, and with all the little spiders and all the little tiny little creatures, like the little maggots and, and, and just everything that goes inside of a small, like, a like, group... You actually might not have a hard time hitting 100 relatively easily. Um, and let me see if I can find a decently sized group of monsters. Most of these are pretty light. I must wait. But take, for instance, the group we have here. I mean, there's probably about 10 monsters here, and I'm swinging multiple times as I go through them. And then I stop and I use the explosion. The only thing that's really weird about this explosion is that a lot of the times, by the time you've dished out enough damage to, you know, kind of get that explosion running to a high enough damage output, it feels like the explosion's not really all that useful because most of the monsters are dead by then. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but it does seem like it's more interesting to kind of like fine-tune the way you use the grips, which basically requires you to stop periodically to make sure that you're exploding once you have a sufficient number of hits. So not really the tap method, where you're just going like tap whirlwind, tap whirlwind, tap whirlwind, but more so along the lines of where you are kind of like whirlwinding for a couple seconds maybe, um, and then making sure you're stopping to release the damage that you've built up and then continuing your whirlwind. And uh, another problem though sometimes is that like the monsters kind of spread out and then the explosion doesn't really hit everything. So I don't really know. Um, one of the main downsides of this pair of gloves though that is not apparent when you first see them is that in general they don't have the crit that you would want. So most people, when they get a pair of gloves, are looking for that juicy, juicy 12% crit. It's one of the best things that you can get on a pair of gloves. You don't have any crit on goers, um, which is rather unfortunate. Now you do have four ranks of your main skill, which is another thing that a lot of people like to put on their gloves. It's usually four ranks of your core skill and critical damage or critical strike chance. Um, and then the other mods are kind of up in the air, depending on what specifically you want. But um, we do have attack speed, lucky hit chance, um, and your core skill here. But it is missing the crit, which is one of the more important options for the gloves in general. So they might actually be less damage than a very optimally rolled pair of gloves, which of course you can get four ranks of whirlwind on regular gloves, and you can also get attack speed and crit and lucky hit chance. The only thing that you can't get is the non-physical damage. Um, and the thing about this is, is that, well, the explosion is fire, and there's a bunch of aspects throughout the Barbarian that have to do with fire damage, which are very weird. Like, you know, fire damage burns enemies while you're berserking. This one is fire damage explosion when you're whirlwinding. Um, there's a couple different ones like this, which are related to fire. And there seems to be almost like a weird fire setup on the Barbarian that I haven't quite figured out yet. I don't know. Might not be something that's actually a thing, but who knows. 
Overall, I think Gore's Devastating Grips, even with the nerf, are still rather interesting and could probably fit into your build. Uh, but you might just be better off with a very nice rolled pair of, you know, like rare gloves imbued with a legendary aspect. Hmm. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. Even when we're talking about a pair of gloves uniquely for the Barbarian. And uh, as always, keep watching.